In this video, we are going to introduce the concept of process. So any program or application is stored on a secondary storage like a hard disk and it is in a passive in, uh, form. So this, this could be either a high level language program or an executable file and this is available in secondary storage in a passive state and is referred to as a program. Now when this file is loaded into the RAM for execution and this execution could be started via GUI mouse clicks or a command line entry of the name of the program. So when this is done, this particular program which was available on the storage will be taken into the main memory or the RAM for execution. Now it is in the active state and now it is referred to as a process. Suppose this is a high level language program and this is stored in the secondary storage. So this is also in a passive state and it is referred to as a program. When you compile it using GCC and give the name of the program, assuming that this, the name of this program was foo.c, so when this, we compile it, it is converted into an executable file and now we are storing that executable a dot out also on the secondary storage. So as long as it was a high level language program stored on the hard disk or an executable file stored on the secondary storage, this is referred to as a program. Only when it is taken up for execution and at the shell prompt you may type dot slash a dot out. Now this will be converted into a process because this program has now been taken to the RAM for execution. So what is a process then? So a process is a program in execution. Now when this process goes into the RAM, the, each process is assigned a memory map. So there is a memory map of the process and this memory map is shown over here. Each process comprises of some space given for the text part. This text part will be con comprising or containing the executable code, the instructions of the program. There would be a space for the data. This section contains information about the global variables. There would be a stack for storing temporary data. So the stack section that is assigned to the process, it will contain temporary data like the parameters of functions, return addresses and the local variables of the function. There would be a heap section. From here, memory is allocated dynamically during runtime. So this is the address space of the process and each process can get a maximum of some space and this max is defined by the system. So suppose this was the program that we initially saw. Here are what we are having are the global variables. There is an uninitialized global variable. So this part, the data section would have some space assigned to uninitialized data like x and some space for an initialized global variable like here y has been assigned a value of 25. So for initialized data also there would be space in that earmarked space in the data section. If there are any main line arguments, they have their own space over here. Apart from that, we can see that there are some local variables, a pointer, val and an integer variable i. These are the local variables and they will be given space in the stack. So stack will be having space for the local variables and any function parameters as such. 
when we have to assign memory to val from using dynamic memory allocation this dynamic memory al would be allocated from the heap section and the instructions over here in the program would be stored in the text part so this is the address map of the process and this is how the process exists in the memory